Well, hello there guys, I'm the No Subscribes Guy, and today I guess I'm going to do another World of Tanks video, seeing as we are on the game itself. And we're just going to hop into a really quick battle when we're 82, and hopefully we'll get a good game going, maybe a decent amount of EXP, seeing it's double EXP weekend. So this should be good. So as you can see we are top tier, not many guns on the enemy team I should be worrying about. So this hopefully will be a good match for me. And hopefully we'll get some good EXP out of it. And maybe a few good kills. So we'll just determine. Should we go left or right? Should we head north or to the east? Because we cap or go for the base? I don't know. We'll see. I'll see which direction my team deploys. And I'll head for the weak spot. Because this thing can really strengthen your weak spot. So if we, if we deploy everyone on our, to the cap. I'll head left to the base to stop any guys coming around behind us and flanking us. And the guy just said we are spot downs. But we'll see. We'll see. I have to see about that. Yep, they're all going that way, so I'm going to turn my sound down a tad. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to talk over it. So nobody's going to go for the, the defend the base. I'll do that then in my 82. I'll hold them off. Surely, yet bravely, hold off their enemy team by myself. The Brutzenwagen dry? I don't know. I might get, might get myself a nice Brutzenwagen dry one day. DW2 for the most players. Seems like an alright tank. And a guy stuck to showing off the gun of his tank. Gives you a bit of a, 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 sh a show off, I should say. Okay, right, we should run straight to Crusader, and this is the Crusader's unlucky day. Artillery are going to be focusing on me. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep moving. Yep, there's artillery. Oh, there's the. See, like a bouncer shot on a Crusader. Let's see if they have also deployed most of their guys to the north as well. So it's just me. Ha ha! Artillery finished him off. Nice job there. And be stole a bit of a kill from, from me from a panicking crusader driver. But I guess we'll just keep rolling around and flank them, I guess. We've already started the cap. Oh, I knew that artillery would start hitting me, but soon I'll be uns. Uh, no, it's just. Cruiser 4. Oh, our, our artillery driver is good. Good artillery driver there. Oh, I have already been hit by artillery. Lucky didn't damage anything other than my track. I'm going to screw it if you hear my engine there. This 82 is really slow. So, I believe we're unspotted now. We'll keep advancing. The, this bishop driver is having a good game. He's really, really good at supporting me. He knows that I need the support the most here. Obviously, because you know, I'm a single tank. You know, flanking around the rear. And that's what he's been doing. He has been supporting me well. Look at that. He's put another shot into the T40. Before he's coming over here, realizing there was an 82. He now realizes that, that was a dumb choice, and the 82 is now behind him. He's not happy with the decision he just made there. He's trying to get into the. Hit him in the rear. Tracked him. Finished him. Good. That's the great thing about this 82. And I am still attracting the attention of the artillery driver. That gorilla really wants me dead. So I reckon we should aim for his head on a plate then. I think that seems fair. Let me head through the distance over there. Uh, nah, someone else finished off. But we're getting some good damage in. Some reasonably good uh, potential damage received. Would have got a kill on that dumbass in the T40. But you know what? His stupidity, my game. And this bishop driver is really good. I have to admit, he's a, he is supporting me fairly well. We also I seem to be um, moving forward, spotting, taking the hits, shooting back, and he seems to just be able to um, take him out. He seems to be a really good driver. I'm glad he was there. I, mean, I probably wouldn't be in the position I am without him right now. And I'd have more kills. <laughs> nah, he's a good driver. He's worth it. There's KV1 from the rear. Yes, please. Critical. Thanks. Very good, good shot in there. A bounce to shot on the back of a KV1. 
This is the one downside to this gun. Very unpredictable. But I have a certain place in revenge for the gorilla. I'm just going to call it the grill because I can't pronounce gorilla. Okay? We'll call it the grill. I'll change the instrument of that song and I'm going to go on a Bernati hunt. In an 82. Who would have thought in an 82 going on an artillery hunt? Ha 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 ha. Is the stug going to look around the back? Or is he going to. No, I don't know. There's the VK and the gorilla. Bye, gorilla. Gonna aim to Amorak that gorilla. Oh, come on. Yes, artillery kill. Good. We just destroyed them that much. Two kills, that was our right match. And I didn't die. And I got an artillery kill. Which I'm pretty happy about. Pretty damn happy about. Always, always satisfying to kill the artillery. Yeah, we're not gonna cap when you kill all. They're there anyway, it's pretty easy. Just a PZ SFL 4C. Yep. Oh, when he killed them anyway. That was a good game. That was a nice game for us there. We did well. We pretty good choice to go with the left hand flank because I got a sniper. 76,000 credits. Wow. <laughs> 712 EXP. That was. Jesus, what did I get? Missions? Did I pass a mission or something? Probably. Uh, yeah. And uh, some stuff, some, some steady income, tier 5, yeah. That's good though, good match. Good amount of uh, credits there, 75,000. And that's really the versatility of the 82, even though it's slow. If your whole team's gone one side, you can flank around the side. I mean, if I didn't have that, hadn't done that, those guys would have come around the rear of our guys. And, I thought it was a good game overall. Enjoyable. Fun. We got a nice amount of uh, credits from it. And DXP, but you know, that's the reason I actually love this 82. So let's let's throw ourselves into another random battle. If I go on, this one goes as well as that. Well, unfortunately, the, I didn't get a game in the end. I didn't get a good one that was worth, you know, showing you guys. But we did get one good game off there, which is pretty good. But just a quick look ahead, I did have just finished a bit of an EXP run to get up to a T34. So you can look forward to a next video of my World of Tanks uh, series. I will be doing some T34 gameplay, which should be pretty good because this so far I found this machine is brilliant. I absolutely love it, great, versatile, and fun. But that's all for next time. So all I have to say this time is I've been the No Subscribers Guy, and thank you for watching.